All right, so I was thinking about making a video on this, uh, but I did not think this was actually gonna work. Uh, but I just managed to fix this uh, late 2011 15-inch MacBook Pro logic board. Now, let's take a look at it real fast. You can see right here some of the repairs I did. So basically, this little coil right there and this coil right here were both completely missing. So what I ended up doing was taking those two components from this board, which is a completely dead 13-inch um, mid-2012 board. Uh, you can see this is where one of the coils was, uh, and the other coil was right there. Um, so I just took those off and uh, soldered them to the board. But um, as you can see with this one, uh, one of the pads was ripped off the board, and actually an entire trace uh, was ripped off the board. Uh, so basically this little wire right here just connects from one of the pins on this coil or one of the sides on that coil and connects to uh, a pin on that little tiny IC you see right there. Let's see if I can focus that in for you a little bit. Yeah, I still need to clean up the flux, but uh, uh, I've just uh, tested it. Actually, I'll go ahead and plug it in right now and you can see that it actually works. You can see we've got a green light on the power supply and the fan is spinning and uh, the heat sink is getting warm and the RAM is also getting warm so that means the system is on uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug this real fast so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this machine back together and we're going to go ahead and put it in and just see if it actually works I'm pretty sure it will because uh, it's on and seems to be working so I'm going to clean this up uh, get the probably repaste the CPU and GPU while, I'm, while I've got the board out and uh, then we'll go ahead and install it into the, the MacBook Pro housing, and it should, in theory, be fully functional now. So I'll resume the video in just a minute. All right, so as you can see, I've now gotten the logic board installed into its chassis, and uh, it is now fully reassembled. So uh, this is, of course, the board I just finished repairing, so we can uh, go ahead and take a look at the repair once again. Uh, you can see uh, the jumper wire there, uh, the two coils I installed, and... Uh, yeah, it all looks pretty good now that I've cleaned up the flux. So, um, I've gone ahead and installed a hard drive as well, which has a copy of Mountain Lion on it, so we can boot it up and test it. Uh, you can see I have a battery installed as well, and, uh, yeah, it's basically a fully complete system. So, uh, with that, I'm just going to go ahead and put the bottom pan on the system. Um, uh, go ahead and flip it over. And we'll go ahead and start it up. So, uh, open it, uh, plug in the MagSafe connection. You can see it turns green. And uh, let's go ahead and turn on the system. You can see it fires right up. And it is now booting off of that hard disk. So, uh, once this finishes booting, I will go ahead and resume the video. All right, so as you can see here, the machine has just finished booting. Uh, so let's just go ahead into about this Mac. Let's head into more info here. So you can see that, as I mentioned, this is a 15 inch late 2011 model. It has a 2.2 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i7 CPU. Um, I only have two gigs of RAM installed at the moment because that's all I could really find. Uh, but I will, of course, upgrade this once I, you know, get everything set up on this machine. Uh, as you can see, it's currently using the Intel HD Graphics 3000 video card. However, this machine uh, has dual graphics cards and also has an AMD Radon HD 6750M, which uh, actually works perfectly, even though uh, these machines are known to have uh, faulty GPUs. So, uh, and, and that card has 512 megs of dedicated video memory. So, that has been an overview of the repair I've done to this um, late 2011 15-inch MacBook Pro Logic board. Um, oh, and actually, one other thing I forgot to mention. Uh, there is still a problem with this board that I couldn't really figure out uh, what was causing it. Uh, but basically, one of the two USB ports on the machine doesn't work. So, I can go ahead and demonstrate that. Let me go ahead and plug uh, this Apple keyboard into the non-functional port. So you can see I've plugged it in there, and uh, if I try to do anything on the keyboard, like caps lock, um, I've also got a Pro Mouse plugged into it. 
you can see that the pro mouse uh, doesn't even get any power and uh, of course it does nothing uh, on the machine so if I go ahead and plug it into the port that does actually work the upper port you can see that the light on the pro mouse is now on and uh, I can use it to uh, control the system so I mean for a pretty cheap board uh, and for a very uh, a repair that I really didn't think was actually going to work, uh, I'd consider this a pretty good score. So uh, that, like I said, this has been the overview of the repair of this uh, late 2011 15-inch MacBook Pro Logic board. Um, so hope you enjoyed this video.